Hello everyone, this is Sue from Sue's Paper Creations. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I am back with a new project that I created, this beautiful card using the Harvest Hellos bundle. So this bundle is in our holiday catalog which went live on September the 4th. And I wanted to um, add in a new amazing product that we've got in the holiday catalog and that is the Mercury Glass um, Designer Acetate. So as you can see here, you can see on the side the beautiful shine to these. These are gorgeous um, acetate sheets so they're very very thick and I'm going to show you today how you can stamp on those and you can use colored inks on them without the ink actually smearing. So that is the technique that I'm going to be doing for today to show you. And I just love the look of the mercury glass acetate over top of this pumpkin. I just, you know, it's very fall-like. I love these colors, the pretty peacock and bringing in um, the mint macaroon. Uh, here in Canada, we are ent entering into the fall season and this just felt like the perfect card to make for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you're wanting to check out other samples that I have made using the Harvest um, Hellos bundle, these are a couple other cards and I do have a YouTube video on this one right now. Um, but my Facebook page, Sue's Paper Creations, you can always um, follow that and I, I'm always posting um, projects from my um, product of the week. So this is it here. And for anyone who orders it this week using my host code, I'm actually going to mail you out just a sampling of the beautiful papers, which is Come Together, which coordinate with this bundle. So these will go in the mail to you if you happen to purchase this bundle using my host code through my online store, okay? All right, so let's get started and you can see how all this magic happens. All right, so I'm gonna put all of these things aside. First, I want to just um, show you a little bit closer. These are the mercury acetate sheets. Now I am going to just try, see if, yeah, that's a bit better actually for these because I didn't want the glare of my light. So I just wanted to be able to show you um, what these look like. They are beautiful. There's two patterns. You get two sheets of this and two sheets of this one. And you can pretty much, I mean, you could put, we're going to put white in behind it. So you can see the pattern a little bit better, but you could use a beautiful metallic in behind there. Like, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Or you could bring in basically any color and it's going to bring out the pattern and show through the paper. Okay. So again, here's the other one, just so you can see what the other pattern looks like. So very, very pretty, and I think it's going to be great for, could you imagine this one for Halloween and uh, just Christmas projects, anything festive, because metallic is the trend right now, okay? So I'm going to get these things out of the way, and we are going to start, and I'm going to bring back that metallic sheet, or the um, mercury sheet here, because I want to show you my trick for stamping and getting the ink to stay on these sheets. So this is a tip that you can use on vellum, you can use it on your window sheets, any slippery surface that you are going to be stamping on uh, and using our beautiful different colored inks which are water based, you're going to want to be able to set them properly so that they don't smudge. Okay, so for this pumpkin what I did, I'm using the Pretty Peacock, is I just stamped directly on the glass acetate sheet so you can see the beautiful color on there. Now if I were to leave that, even if I were to leave that for probably even a couple hours, I would go across and if I touched it, it's going to smear, okay? Or if any moisture gets on it, it's just going to start making a huge mess. So instead, what I'm bringing in is I'm bringing in some clear embossing powder and I am going to just sprinkle, I hardly have any left here, I have to get some more, but I'm going to sprinkle that clear embossing powder over top of my image. And this is going to do two things. So there's a bonus to doing this. Just want to make sure I got it all up. Here, I like to tap it from the underside. Sorry for all the noise. So this is going to do two things. It is going to set your ink 
but it's also going to make that ink stand up a little bit more using it on um, using it on that colored powder and it's going to have a little bit of embossing right so you're going to have a nice raised image which will stand out a little bit more so here we go we're going to do some heating and what this is going to do again it's just going to set it so that you don't have to worry at all about that ink um, smudging so that's the main thing when you're using um, any acetate window vellum I mean you could use your stays on but your stays on is just going to give you black okay so if you want to bring in beautiful colors like this one here I think that's good yep we're good if you want to bring in beautiful colors then just heat set it and um, that will solve the problem okay so I'm now going to go ahead and I'm going to punch this out just like that and that's again with that apple apple builder I love it and I'm going to bring in a white sheet and I'm going to do the same because I'm going to overlay those okay so that is our little pumpkin and again it's not smudging right because we set it with the clear embossing powder so that makes a big difference okay now I'm going to just do the rest of the stamping that I need to do for uh, this project and I'm going to bring in oh I got a very very small scrap and I'm going to bring in uh, my other stamps that I'm going to need I'm going to stamp out some leaves as well as a same and I'm going to bring that pretty peacock back in so let's stamp a couple leaves just like that okay and I'm going to do my hay there pumpkin on this scrap like that now I'm going to do a little bit of hand cutting just a little bit um, I have usually in my class when I start doing the hand cutting this is when people will ask me isn't there a punch or a die that we can use to cut this out <laughs> makes me laugh every time but you know what every once in a while it's a good it's good to use those motor skills those get out your scissors and do some cutting I actually find it quite relaxing you know I don't like to do too much of it and it is nice to have the punches but a little detail cut out there we go there's one doesn't take too long there we go so on my Facebook page which is Sue's Paper Creations um, I am getting back to I'm so excited to have the time to get back to my make it Mondays so there will be a Facebook live Monday morning that you can tune in and watch um, I'll also post those videos on the YouTube channel as well so um, if you don't end up tuning in to that Facebook page you can always find them here so you can subscribe and I'll have uh, a couple new videos for you each week and um, today is Wednesday so you know I decided that I would do a midweek Wednesday creation so that's what this is and um, you know I just when I was creating last night and I was making this I'll put it in here so you guys can see what this is gonna look like and I put um, started using the mercury glass sheets it just looks so pretty I thought I have to share this project because this is one that is really simple and I'm doing just doing a little rough cut because I kind of like that look with this project there we go um, I just think that it's it's beautiful for fall and for this set um, I just love the look of it and I, I what can I say I had to share it with you guys okay all right so I've got those pieces there I'm gonna bring in my card base and my other pieces and I think we're ready to assemble so really quick and easy project today but it looks like you spent a lot of time and I think that's all because of these new mercury glass sheets so if you're looking for something new to try to kind of take your crafting to the new level that um, but is super easy then I would say grab yourself a package of them because like I said you get four sheets 12 by 12 two of each design so I will put up the number so you guys will know um, the number to purchase okay all right so for 
Finishing off this card, I love the new Mint Macaroon ribbon. It is a shimmery ribbon. It's beautiful. Uh, let's see here. It's called Textile Ribbon, but it is. It's got a nice sheen to it, and I love the color combination of the Pretty Peacock and the Mint Macaroon. It just, just looks so nice. So this is the ribbon I'm going to use. There we go. A little tie, and we'll just trim it. And then it's going to be a matter of putting together the pieces on this little background. So this is one of the stitch shapes. Um, we have got the stitch shapes dies and you get four squares, four circles and four ovals. And they all have the beautiful detail of the stitching. They are my go to for a lot of pro uh, projects that I do just because it's just nice to have that added detail around the edges. It makes a big difference. So that's what I'm going to be putting everything on. Now, first of all, I'm going to need to attach this. Um, look at that. I just have to keep looking at it. It's so pretty. I'm going to attach this to the white one. And I don't want to see the adhesives, okay? So I'm going to strategically, that's my big word today, strategically place a couple glue dots onto the back and so I'm I'm placing them where the mercury parts of um, the glass sheet or the acetate sheet are so you can't see through the clear and then I just put it over top like a little overlay there we go okay now let's attach the rest and finish putting this together now oh I know what I didn't punch we need a, let's see if I have enough scraps left. This is going to be tricky. Let's see if I can fit it in here. No, nope. I'm going to need. Oh, look at that. I did it. Okay. I need a little stem. So I'm going to put on, just in soft suede, a little stem. Okay. And then I'm going to attach these little leaves. And to do that, I'm going to um, put them on. The little glue dot on the front because I'm going to tuck it underneath. And I'm going to put one up top there and I'm going to put one on the bottom. There we go. Again, I'm loving this new color, Pretty Peacock. It's my favorite. Okay, now we need a little dimension. We're getting there. Now, for, I have got, um, some of you guys already know this, but I do have a loyalty program for orders. So anyone who places orders through me, through my online store, if your orders hit $90 within a month using the host code, um, not only this week are you going to get that um, little sampling of all of the papers, the little, I have six by six of all these papers that I'm going to send out to you, but you would also get the holiday rhinestone basic gems. So this is for the month of September. Each month I have a different loyalty gift. It's always a beautiful embellishment and this is the one for September. So again, if you don't already have this amazing set, um, and you have other things that you want to get, like check in the these mercury uh, glass sheets, maybe a full package of the beautiful papers, a couple of you know necessities like adhesives and stuff. And um, your order hits ninety dollars, I will mail you out those beautiful rhinestones. Okay, so there you have one beautiful. Mercury pumpkin, isn't that pretty? And another one here. I just love that card. So I just had to share it with you guys and share a way of using these beautiful overlay sheets. I'm sure that there will be tons of different ideas out there that you guys can look up for these um, mercury glass acetate sheets. I'm gonna work with them a little bit more in the weeks to come for the holidays and I think they're gonna make some beautiful projects. And so that is my little card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that on my midweek Wednesday creation. And again, if you don't already have this bundle, 
it is a beautiful bundle you can do lots of beautiful things with it and I'm going to do some really fall tone um, pumpkins over the next couple days I will post that video here so remember to subscribe and you can check that out okay so thanks so much for tuning in and until next time have a great day bye